the Nixon playbook is the Roy Cohn playbook. You know, Roy Cohn, as, as we've mentioned many times, was the infamous lawyer um, for Joe McCarthy during the McCarthy hearings, then became a lawyer uh, for the five mafia families of New York City. And he was also a key advisor of Nixon. And a lot of these strategies that Trump has learned, you know, whether how he deals with the media, with the combination of threats and bribes and manipulation, um, with how he deals with judges following the famous Roy Maxim, where it says, you know, I don't want to know what the law is. I want to know who the judge is and then therefore uh, control policy that way. These sorts of tactics, these uh, illusions of mob riots um, from civil rights protesters, and you know, uh, capturing you know what Nixon would call the silent majority, um, which is not something I think really exists right now. We may have a, a silent minority of uh, people who are racist uh, and don't publicly want to be racist in the way that Trump fans would, you know, they enjoy being racist. I don't think it's quite going to work the same way. And honestly, I think it's an indicator of Trump's mind, which is basically frozen around like 1988. It's like as if everything just shut down his cultural references um, and his you know, playbook. A, a lot of it still works. And he obviously has many other people advising him uh, who are more up to date. And he shows a natural affinity for you know modern propaganda means like social media, reality television, and so forth. But this is an old playbook. 